for high blood sugar in, uh, in doctor talk is 120 uh, milligrams of sugar per, per deciliter of blood. But at 119, you still got a problem. 118, you still got a problem. So you, okay. you can't go by the test. You got to go by the effects in the body. And it's okay. very rare. Also, it's so very rare that you're going to have a kidney problem without a blood sugar problem, and almost everybody has blood sugar problems. Go ahead, ma'am. Okay, here's what I was told, just so you have a little backdrop, and not, maybe this is all false. but um, it's, I, I'm a marathon runner. I'm a vegan. I do everything in my power to you know, maintain a healthy environment for my kidneys, including yoga. No. So well, I mean, the marathon running put, puts a major stress on the body. This is not a healthy thing to do, marathon running, unless, okay. you're, unless you're doing all the parameters. You're putting a big-time burden on the body. Big, big time burden on the body with marathon running. Marathon running is not a healthy thing to do. Well, let me just be very clear here. When you exercise, you want to exercise in quick bursts, and you want to make sure that you're replacing those nutrients. Marathon running without replacing nutrients can put a tremendous load on the body. It's not in your interest. So you've got to be very careful about what you do. And same with being on a vegan diet. I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but same with being on a vegan diet. A vegan diet is high in sugar, and that's disaster for the kidney. So you may almost certainly have some kind of a blood sugar problem, and you have almost certainly have been putting a burden on your body. Be kind to your body, Lori. Love okay. your body. I do take the, the rebound, so that's good, and that's helpful. Okay. Um, I take the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, and I just recently started doing the Osteo FX. So well, those are all good. To, I'm more concerned. And all the other things. Okay, yes. I'd be more concerned with the burden on the body through the blood sugar system as okay. well as uh, as well as digestive toxicity. And you got and it, one that, other thing I was told through two different nephrologists is low, 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 low protein diet. Well, Would I'm not going to get into the silliness the that doctors okay. talk about. I'm not going to get into that. But okay, it's so true the that protein, the kidneys the kidneys are going to process that protein, so you're going to put a burden on the on the kidneys if you don't take care of the kidneys. But that's not a reason to deprive yourself of protein. In fact, that's more stupidity. Stupidity. So and you are going to put a load on the kidneys, though, and, and you do have to make sure that you're taking care of your kidneys on all of these other fronts. However, you do need the protein. It's absolutely vital for, for the building process and to keep you from munching on the, on the sugar, and that means bread and, and sweet vegetables, et cetera. Okay. All right. All right. All there right. God bless. Good luck with everything. Thanks. I cannot believe doctors say that low, 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 low protein. I know they do, but I, all right. Robert in Texas, what's up? Welcome to the bright side. Robert, going once. Oh yes, sir. Hey, yes, what's sir. up? I was one. I asked you something you didn't ever talk about. Testosterone and estrogen. Yes. What do you want to know? Yeah, I just want to know uh, how do you build it back up? Okay, uh, you know. that's, a good, that's a good question. Testosterone and estrogen live in balance. Now, they go by the generic terms or uh, the common terms, male hormone and female hormone, but that's not really very accurate. Testosterone is more of a building hormone, and estrogen is more of a stress hormone. So these two things live in balance. The more body fat you're carrying, the more estrogen, uh, estrogen you're going to be producing and the less testosterone effects you're going to have. So the number one way to up your testosterone is to lose the body fat. That's the first thing you want to do. The second thing you want to do is you want to resensitize your body to insulin. These are two, and these don't even, you know, we're not even talking about the hormones directly here. Losing body fat and helping your, uh, resensitizing your body to insulin are the two, two of the most important strategies for beefing up male hormone effects. And you will find that associated with low T, so-called low T, and by the way, the literature on, on testosterone replacement is not good. There's a lot of negative stuff coming out about testosterone replacement, which is understandable because you don't want to screw around with your hormones uh, medically. So first and foremost, losing body fat. You'll notice that everybody who's dealing with low T is carrying around a lot of body fat. You'll also notice that everybody with low T is also insulin resistant. So you need to resensitize the body to insulin by reducing caloric intake and upping your protein. Those are the two most important things to do in addition to losing body fat, and, and that'll help you lose body fat also. Uh, caloric restriction, eating less food, intermittent fasting also is a great strategy for building testosterone and body building. Listen up. If you're a bodybuilder, weightlifter, athlete, intermittent fasting is an awesome way to build muscle. And the more muscle you're carrying, the more male hormone you're going to be making as well. So uh, uh, caloric restriction, intermittent fasting, uh, reducing your blood sugar and reducing your intake of sugars to resensitize that insulin, resensitize.
sensitize your body to insulin and lowering your body fat. Those are the most important strategies, in my opinion, for helping uh, boost testosterone levels. There's also building nutrients that you want to take. Testosterone, remember, is a building substance. The body is always either built in net building mode or net breakdown mode. If you're low T, you're in net breakdown mode. Your body's beginning to break down. We want to reverse that. Losing body fat's important, and uh, uh, reducing blood sugar is also important, and, and reducing calories is important, but then there's great supplements for building testosterone, for uh, turning on the anabolic system. Protein, for sure, for sure, whey protein, the best. Egg protein is good, too, for building. Zinc is your major anabolic, major building mineral. Everybody who's interested in building tissue should be on, and that's all of us, should be on 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate with vitamin A. Vitamin A and zinc work together. Vitamin A is the most important of the building vitamins. So your most important building mineral is zinc. Your most important building vitamin is vitamin A, 20,000 international units of, a day of vitamin A. And then make sure you're on the Healthy Start Pack as well. Make sure you're using the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long, sipping on it all day long. Make sure you're getting your essential fatty acids, the ultimate EFAs. Again, the EFAs are majorly building. You can't make protein without fat. That is nutritional fat. That is good fat. So getting on the ultimate EFAs is also a very important strategy. These are all ways that you can build your testosterone up without resorting to, without resorting to uh, hormone replacement, which is never a good idea. You don't want to be pharmacologically manipulating your hormones if you don't have to. All right, there's so much more to talk about, but that's all we got time for today. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about connective tissue. I'm sorry if we left you on hold. Get a uh, call back tomorrow and tell our call screener that we left you on hold. We'll get you first up tomorrow on the bright side. All right, check out my blog, pharmacistben.com. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. My pharmacist Ben. Bye for now. You've been hearing about the amazing benefits of heart and body extract for many years. Now, hear from the co-founder. My name is Tammy Knudsen, and I am the co-founder of Heart and Body Extract. We've been in business for over 13 years now. With thousands of satisfied customers who have experienced the amazing benefits but never experienced a price hike. We've kept consistent pricing the whole entire time. The company's been in business and will continue to do so. Call today for Heart and Body Extract, 866-295-5305, or visit hbextract.com. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vaporate E-Liquid by LaSig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. LaSig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaSig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. LaSig E-Cigarettes. Kick some ash. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.